shrimp, mushroom, and steak all in one delicious bite. That's what we're making today. Who doesn't like a good surf and turf in one delicious bite? This is gonna go onto your menu as an hors d'oeuvre or as a snack or even as a main dish if you make enough of them up, why not? Welcome back to Annie's Smoking Pot. I, of course, am Annie. This is my tiny kitchen and we're just gonna start cooking. Old Bay seasoning. That's what you put on any type of seafood. I say it all the time and I will continue to say it. Just gonna coat those little shrimpies up right there. I know, I don't have gloves, I know, because I forgot to grab them. It happens sometimes. We're gonna go ahead and just coat both sides. You don't have to go real heavy with it, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. That's all. And button mushrooms. I am using cremini's, but you can just use your standard button if you prefer. And I've already cleaned them with just a clean, damp towel. That's all you wanna do. Don't run them under water, because if you do, these are like little sponges. If you run them under water, they're gonna soak that water up and then they're gonna get soggy. And that's not good at all. We have de-stemmed the mushrooms, so now we're gonna add some cream cheese just right on in that little cup right there. You don't wanna to add too much because we don't want them to, oops, we don't want them to get like soggy with cheese. Just a little bit. This is also gonna help anchor down the shrimp. These little guys, remember those? We're gonna shove those right on in there. It's all turfy to me. <laughs> Crack myself up. Here's a mom joke for you. I heard this one the other day and it cracked me up. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because shrimp into the turf. And let's see, we're just gonna nestle them down on in there like that. Just a nice little bed. Look, we'll show you again. There's another one, just like that. That way you're gonna get a piece of shrimp and mushroom in every single bite. Now to the next step. This is some thin shaved shit. <laughs> That's very hard to say. Thin shaved steak. I just get it at my local grocer. If you can't find it, it comes just like this. You can get any steak you want and then just put it in your freezer for about 10 minutes. And then you're literally just going to use a vegetable peeler or a mandolin and just shave it really thin because you want it thin enough to wrap around the piece of mushroom just like that. And there's no right way to do it. There's no pretty way to do it. It is literally just wrap it to try to get a bite of steak in every mouthful. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these wrapped up and then we'll start cooking in the air fryer. Did I tell you that? We're putting them in the air fryer. You could put them on a barbecue or if you want it to invoke a little smoky flavor if you've got a Traeger. Oh, that would be really good too. Let's get our air fryer going. These are not gonna take long at all. We're gonna go about 10 minutes at 360. See these little guys? Remember the stems we pulled out? They're not gonna go to waste here at Annie's Smoking Pot. Those are gonna go into a baggie in my freezer for stock, which I just made the other day. I had enough vegetables from my last few episodes that I made up six cups of a delicious vegetable stock. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with all that vegetable stock, but you know what? I'll figure it out. So you guys have suggested a couple of recipes that you've wanted me to try and I've done them and they've turned out fantastic. So keep the comments coming. Oh, you know what you could do right now actually would be amazing while we're waiting for that that air fryer to heat up that subscribe button down below you should just go ahead and click it just give it a click right there greatly appreciate it our air fryer is ready so right before we put them in we're just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper right on top you don't want to do it too soon because as the meat sits here that salt's going to draw out some of that moisture and we don't want that to happen but that's ready let's get them cooking go ahead and spray our basket just to make sure nothing sticks and in they go Those are gonna take 10 minutes, and then I'll meet you back here when they're done. Oh, I can't wait. It's time to take those guys out. We ended up going that full 10 minutes. Look at these, they're absolutely perfect. Little bite-size surf and turfs. Great appetizer for a party. Add that with a little bit of fried rice, a little bit of noodles, or you know what? It's surf and turf, have an amazing baked potato on the side. Oh, in fact, keep your eyes out because I am gonna be filming a loaded baked potato tomorrow. That one will come up a little bit after this one, so just keep your eye out for it. But I'll take you back to these right now because they look really good, and I think we should just cut into one and see how it turned out. 
here we go. I'm just gonna say this, you could just pick this up and pop it in your mouth, that's the whole point, but I want you to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh gosh, oozing out all over the place. Oh, that is so juicy tender. Look at that, that is cooked to perfection. All right, let's give it a try. Nothing to do but eat it. Mm. That is surf and turf all day long, all day long. You got your steak, you got your shrimp, and you got your vegetable, because there's a mushroom. And you're fat, because you got the cream cheese. You know what, I can't say anything else about it except make them do the salt and pepper. That salt and pepper made a world of difference, as does that Old Bay. Anytime you have seafood, cook with the Old Bay. But you know what, thank you so much for watching another episode of Annie's Smoking Pot. And until next time, bye. It is so good. That steak is cooked like perfectly.